Um, but yeah, so we we can move on. Um, what do you want to talk about next? You want to talk about Royce, or you yeah, want to talk Royce about Royce versus Lupe? All right, um, let's go ahead and talk about that. That that's been kind of interesting, man. I mean, it it seemed like it kind of got a little serious, um, basically because uh, you know they were doing a podcast together, Royce the Five Nine and Lupe Fiasco, and from what I saw, there was a a live video where it was like Royce and uh, some other dudes, some of the um, battle rap dudes like Murder Mook and Loaded Lux, those types of guys, and they were all talking. And basically, some it was some you know back and forth where the battle rappers were trying to egg it on, basically, supposedly, where they were like, yeah, you know, it would be dope if Royce and Lupe did this and that and that. And, and it kind of ended up putting a battery in Lupe's back. So... Mm-hmm. That eventually Lupe jumps on the live, and he's all hi. Who said what? What you know? You know he's kind of yelling and being loud, and so Royce is like, "Whoa, whoa!" That ain't even how it went down. You know, you misunderstand it, but Lupe is just kind of still being a little aggressive. So it turned into a real argument, and eventually that's what led up to it. So they started doing little IG posts about each other, just kind of poking fun at each other. Yeah, and then it turned into a you know, well, let's take it to the bars and. Well, Royce as, dropped as something, should. right? They now, um, Royce dropped something. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, Silence of the Lambda. That's what it was. Silence of the Lambda. And then, uh, what's the name? Uh, dropped a song called Steve Jobs. So his song was supposed to be more so like, I think it was more so like a metaphor, like like nerds run the world. That's why yeah, I think yeah. he called it Steve Jobs. So anyway. Yeah. Um, you haven't heard either one of them, have you? I haven't heard either one of them. Yeah, I would like to get your opinion on those when you hear them, because I think they're both really good. So it's really close for me, but yeah. I have to give a slight edge to Royce. Yeah, just, just a little bit. That's that's the way I was thinking. Yeah. Royce is different. Yeah. And I'm and that's not disrespect to Lupe neither, because Lupe is nice. Yeah, if you hear Lupe's response, it was dope. It was yeah. top tier. Um, I just think Royce might have just a hair, you know, just yeah, a little bit of hair. Yeah, I definitely want to hear him because, I mean, if you're going to yeah, you gonna battle like that, that's what hip hop's about. Right. I, I, I can respect that. Yeah. You know, it ain't about the, you know, money and class and all that. Stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man. And oh. I'm, I'm, I'm glad they did it. I, I mean, it's not a, I guess... The way it seems like they're not going to really do anything else because Royce put out a, a post on, I think, his Twitter where he was just like, I'm going to leave it right here. I don't want to, you know, get too far into it and, and wind up doing something that, yeah. that might be taken too far yeah, with Lupe. Because, so I'm going to just leave it right there. Yeah. I think that was his way of saying, let's just call it a day. Yeah, because, you know? I mean, realistically, I mean, you know what I'm saying? They, especially if they're doing a podcast or something, right. they're definitely going to want to make money together or well, you at least make you know have a way to make you know but um and it would be really it would be really great for them to do projects together as well so well, yeah it ain't uh, no use to slight nobody just cause about the podcast though lupe actually said he's not going to do it anymore wow. he, he walked away from it he's he did a post after the fact i guess after they dropped their bars and he was just like, yeah, you know, we have fun with the podcast and actually some really good episodes. Y'all should go check them out. So he was still plugging it, but he was like, I think we're just going to leave it right there and just gracefully bow out, blah, blah, blah. So he kind of said that he's not going to do it no more. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, it kind of got a little serious there, I yeah, guess. Yeah, so there must be something that happened that we don't really, really know Yeah. About. And, I mean, it seems like it was all, like I said, a misunderstanding because... When I go back and I look at the video when they first kind of was arguing on the live, one of the things that happened, well, it was two things that happened. Lupe was kind of getting loud, you know, with the who wanted, you know, who said what, and I, you know, I'm ready, and, you know, that kind of energy. I don't know what it, I can't remember what his exact words were. So don't misquote, I'm not misquoting him, just more so, you know, giving y'all the gist. But then Lupe also didn't have a shirt on. So at the same time that he's yelling, Royce is trying to tell him to calm down. Royce is also saying, yo, you need to go put a shirt on. And, you know, nobody want to look at your little bird chest, you know, kind of throwing that shot out at him. And I think that kind of egged um, Lupe on. Like, nah, I ain't taking my shirt off, you know. F that, you know. And I, so 
uh, uh, that that was it was a combination of those two things. To me, that's what really threw the whole thing off. And Royce has tried to explain to him that you know it ain't whatever you think it was. That's not what it is. But since you won't let it go, here's what's gonna happen. You know. So, but you know that that's all. I think I think that's all it is. I don't yeah. think there's really nothing else to it. I think they could eventually you know mend this thing back up, but yeah. I just don't know if they will or not. You know. Yeah. Yeah, they actually um they actually brought him in on one of their lives. Um Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. They were doing another live with us a group of them. It was Royce and um some of the battle rappers like Murder Moog and all of them. And um they brought Joe in because I think Joe's name got thrown in the mix somehow. But you know, Joe wasn't really I don't think he was trying to get into it. It was more so, you know, we just having a conversation. Um, just kicking it, you know what I mean? But, you know, he was on the live with him for a little while, so that was kind of interesting. I think you should go back and check it out. Yeah, I'll definitely it's, go uh, Now, what's the name the, of their podcast? It was just called, I think, the Lupe and Roy Show or the Royce and Lupe Show, okay, something like that, yeah. They got YouTube episodes? I'm not sure because I, I never looked for it. Um, so by the time it was really hitting my radar, that's when this whole thing Fight jumped off. Out, so yeah. I'm going to go back and check it out, you know yeah. what I mean? So definitely want to do that. You know what I'm saying? I, and I hope, like, again, like I said, especially in the time we are in now. Yeah. Yeah, we don't, re- we really can't afford to have, like, black people hard for this shit. Absolutely. Especially something that's, like, you know, trivial and stuff. But, you know, I know how, you know, we, we get like that. But, yeah, I hope they can yeah. come back together with like men and, yeah, they can do some stuff. I do too, man. Because, I mean, they're both, good. we definitely need both of them. Right. They're both need really, both. um, you know, important to hip hop in general. So, um, and I guess we can go ahead and move on. Um, we're going to, I guess we can talk about like, um, you know, the, the verses coming up and the Hassan Campbell and how he threw some shots out at, uh, Jim Jones and Styles P and that kind of thing. I didn't hear the, I didn't hear the Jim Jones. Yeah. I, I heard the, uh, Style P rebuttal. Before. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. I let him have it, boy. He's like, look, respectfully, come with blessings, brother. Fuck you! I was like, yeah, man. Yo, you gotta chill. Yeah. You gotta chill. Yo, Styles ain't gonna he ain't, he ain't gonna water too much of it down. Yo, you know what I mean? Styles, Styles was like, yo, I I can get back active. I'm inactive now, but I can go back active if y'all want. Oh, man, I mean, and you know, he it was funny, man. And shout funny. out, the shout out to Styles, man. And that, and that's and that's one thing I have to give to like Styles and, and Jada, man. They really about. Really yeah, like definitely, man. And you know, I, we said it. You go back, you know, different episodes. We have actually stated about how, you know, like these guys are are getting older. They're talking about having good health. They're talking about bettering yourself, making yourself healthy. And I respect that. Man. You got to from man. coming from what they they were doing. Yeah, and you know, they really trying to put the culture up on game. I, I appreciate these guys, definitely. Man. Yeah, I'm I'm proud of them for that, man. Um, they always promoting the juice joint too, man. So love that, man. But yeah, so I'm I'm um. But yeah, so I mean, you know, the the video. There's a video out there with Hassan Campbell. He was basically talking junk about Jim Jones and Dipset in general, calling them snitches and all of that, because he said that um, basically Jim Jones, you know, will say one thing in his songs about promoting one guy who's you know, one of the street thugs and drug dealers and big time guys. And, um, but then after that, he's hanging out with, um, uh, what's the, what's my dude's name? Uh, I think it was Alpo, you know, one of the dudes that was like a big kind, kind of kingpin up in yeah, uh, Queens yeah, in New York yeah, and yeah. all of that. So he's like, yo, in your songs, you promoting his enemy, but then here, you know, you hanging with him. Uh, and you doing this and that, and you know it's kind of looking fishy and all of this, and um, and then he said um, there was a tape where Jim Jones was caught on tape uh, ratting on um, six nine. Wow. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't so, and he basically just threw Styles P in it because he's like, why would you want to do a versus with this nigga? Because he, you know, I guess Styles been going back and forth with Jim Jones, you know, in a playful manner. About the verses, which is kind of dope, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But 
Hassan Campbell was like, yo, Styles, you were, you know, basically calling him a fool and saying you might as well, you know, say you hanging with snitches and this and that. Um, and so I think that's where Styles P got uh, prompted to respond because Styles don't play that. You remember when uh, when the Beanie Siegel jump, jumped off with him and Jada, Styles was like, don't throw my name in that shit because once you put my name in it, now I got to smash you. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, I think he just got mad with that, but, you know, that's what happened. Basically, Hassan Campbell was talking about Jim Jones, and he just threw Styles P in there. Now, Hassan Campbell, you know, the reason why I think it's a good move to work with him. <laughs> Get the bag, you know what I mean? Get the bag. Just to be clear. You know? <laughs> that, that's why. Yeah, and I mean... Hey, you know, Hassan Campbell been looking kind of foolish here lately, yeah, man. man. So many people been uh, now, I will jumping say, on him, man. I will say this about the um, whole Jim Jones thing now. Um, now, I, I haven't heard about what you were saying. Yeah. But I did, you know, some of the other, before this whole thing was, uh, you know, Kwame Brown and all that stuff. Right. He, looked, he was talking about Jim Jones, which I haven't listened to the Jim Jones' music. But he was saying that, you know, he did give him some compliments. So, yeah, Jim Jones' music is great. Like, the music, if you just listen to the music, is good. But as far as the message in the music, I mean, I do kind of agree with what he was saying as far as, um, yeah, it is detrimental to this whole stuff with, you know, the gang culture and all this and that. Right, right. So, I mean, he, yeah, Hassan Campbell had been vocal about that. Which I understand, you know, I can, like again, I can respect, but yeah, I mean, and and really now at this point, the way hip hop is now, I mean, yeah, back in the days we had different rules, but now the rules are kind of bent and twisted and everything. Okay, so yeah, yep. if, he, if he stitched, but see that, but that even, but that's not, you know, with this event coming up, it's not either here nor there. You know, this is about a celebration of two groups. Who at you know at, at the pinnacle of, you know well they're, they're still doing their thing but yeah at the pinnacle they hype and have and you know what what people remember of them and what they enjoy this is what this is about it's not about who snitched on who it's not about who ratted on who you know not you know what I'm saying so I mean that's the way that's the way I look at it but I mean and I can't really tell you like rules of the streets and stuff like that because I ain't no street. I can't come up here and tell you, like, oh, nah, son. You know, that's like me and you. You, If you did something, you snitched on somebody, and then I come to this podcast like, nah, nigga, I can't do the podcast with you because you up there <laughs> snitching. You know what I mean? Yeah, you got to snitch it on everybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come up here. Next time I see you, I'm going to rock your snot box. <laughs> Make sure your TV turned off. You know? you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't do that. Yeah. Because, you know what I'm saying? We in, it, you know, we in this to do this to, one, yeah. we love it. And then two, you know, we're trying to monetize. So I can't come in here just because of what you did. You know what I'm saying? I can't let I can't let that stop me to move forward. You know what I'm saying? To you mm -hmm. know. So I mean that that's yeah. the way I look at it. Yeah. And I mean I agree. You know what I mean? So it's it's one of those things. I think I saw Campbell, I think he's just been trying to capitalize off that friction so much that he's willing to just name drop and say whatever, you know, just to get people to Yeah. You know, but get I, amped up like, oh, he mentioned Styles. I wonder what Styles gonna say now. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I see. I think of it. I think the thing of it is now. I think a lot of people seen the game, now. and on top of that, a lot of you know, a lot of people. You know, there's a lot of other people that were coming out that wasn't really necessarily saying things right before. Now they're coming out and saying, "Hey, we're just gonna give you the whole deal. Like, if it's gonna be like that. We just holding it out." Yeah. Let you let you and let you decide. So yeah, I mean, I think him, yeah, him doing that, especially with the Kwame Brown interview, uh, him doing that is really kind of exposed to him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I and I and I kind of hate it because I was, you know, again, when we were talking about the Kwame Brown situation, my hope was for them to come together, even though, you know what I'm saying, or at least get to an understanding like, look, we're we're about helping, you know, we're helping the future generation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, Absolutely. It's just, getting, 
you know, I, and I think that's the name. That's the name of the game. Bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But yeah, man. I mean, we shall see what happens from here, man. I'm still excited about the verses, and I'm still gonna watch it. I mean, you know, I don't know what's true or not true about Jim Jones and all of that. I mean, but this is about the culture right now, yeah, the yeah. battle. So that's yeah, all I'm man. interested in is just seeing it for the for the sake of classic music and how it brings the culture together. So that that's all I'm worried about at the, at this point. Oh, speaking of which, um, you check out any of the big three games? I think some. Came I have not. Them. I've been meaning to. I have not because yeah, I, I definitely want to support that man. Yeah. Shout out to Ice Cube, Shout man. Out to Ice Cube. He did his thing yeah. with that man. Yeah, if remember to watch those on CBS. We we are not getting paid from Ice Cube yet. Right. Big three. Yeah, man. I say big three all day, man. If you uh put us on the payroll, bro. Yeah. Just, yeah. You know, we don't even want much. <laughs> you, know, you know, a couple hundred dollars. You know. Nah, I'm going for a couple it's hundred thousand. <laughs> I think it's on. Um, I think it's on Triller too. I think. Um, yeah, I think it's on. Tri- I, I was trying to that. see if it was on Paramount Plus because since I'm that not being, sure that would that make being sense. On CBS, yeah, yeah that's CBS. that would make sense. So, um, so yeah, it, it probably is. Probably is. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. So we shall see, man. But shout out to Ice Cube for doing that. I'm glad he's keeping it going too, because uh, you know that's that's nostalgia for me, man. Oh, you know. Yeah. Seeing some of your favorite players still being able to throw the ball around, you know. Yep, yep, yep. So, yeah, man, um, did you want to throw out anything else on the oh, show? Oh, real quick. I want to shout out to Kimberly Mosberg. I got my stuff. Thank you so much. Yeah. I I haven't, I didn't, um, I didn't want to, yeah, I'm trying to give her an applause. Um, I did not want to wear the shirt today because what I want to do is, Uh, so I want her to work, and we'll take a picture together, and you know, okay, and shout her out. That's what's up. That's what's that, up. That's what I want. This to is do. the Shikari in the Flash. Yeah, 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 joint. yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah. I so really that's what's appreciate up. that. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Shout out to Kimberly Mosberry. Yeah. Um, well, she has it as Mosberry on some and Mosby on some platforms. So I don't know which one is the proper name but still shout out to her she makes um some good product yeah yeah so um but yeah and then you know we shouted out last week as well no was it the week before last week before, week before last, last week before last yeah. but yeah man so um but yeah i think that's pretty much all i had do you have anything else you want to throw out there before um, we wrap up i think that's it oh i got to do the thing uh remember when we do this next uh, yeah that's my man oh my man that's warren yeah what's up man we appreciate you oh, checking us out. What? <laughs> Shut up! Don't, don't hit the clap. Sound boy burial. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, but um, yeah. Shout out to my man. So let me do the clap. Okay, now the thing I was talking about. Um, what since you know Kwame Brown talking about, you know, we need to do something for these kids and stuff, and do something for, um, as far as, like, you know, the coding and stuff. Yeah. I, I think it would be our duty to maybe, you know, every once in a while, or at least, I, I, I don't know if I could do it every show, but we definitely want to get sent out, um, at least list some job things that, you know, maybe these kids can look at. They can, you know, go, you know, okay, I can work myself to get here. Right. So we want to kind of do that. That way it would be a way of giving, giving back. And, you know, at least we're trying to do something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, absolutely, man. You know, everybody's got their schedules. And, you know, we can't, everybody can't get all, out to all these places. But, yeah, yeah we, definitely, we, man. We, we definitely want to do some stuff like that, man. Throw some plugs in there at the end of the show and help some people, you know, get, get, where they need to be, man, because uh, we definitely want to promote, you know, and just put it on for the community, yep, you know. Yep, so yep. I definitely agree with that, man. But, yeah, so, um, but, yeah, I don't think I have too much else. Did you want to share anything else about Biz 
Uh, you mentioned. Oh yeah, yeah, um... yeah, yeah, definitely. Real quick, um, I just I shared a post. I know you know a lot of people are still you know mourning over this and things like that. I definitely want you guys to you get get a chance to listen to the I Need a Haircut album. You can find it. I know it's a hard find. I try to look it up on Spotify. It's not there. It just goes to show you that you can't listen to everything on Spotify. Right, right. That's why sometimes it's good. You know, you have your own physical. Yeah, man. I'm telling you. But I say that to say this: check out the, the Biz Marquee. Um, I need a haircut album. I, and if you find the one that has the Alone Again, you better keep that shit. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Yeah. You keep it. You better make. If you get it on cassette, make you need another copy of it. You get it on CD. Right. Get a little burnt joint of it. Put that away. My hope is to get it on vinyl. Yeah, yeah, that would be dope, man. That would be dope. That, but that's that's a good album. It's it's definitely. I haven't heard the first album officially, honestly. Oh, okay. I've heard, stuff, you know, I heard like the "Make the Music with Your Mouth," the you know all all the other popular biz songs. Yeah, but uh, definitely check out. I need a haircut album. And um, the guy, I can't think of his name, but I checked out his page and subscribed to it. I'll put the name maybe um, later on, but uh, he's got he does mixtapes. He did like a Biz Marquee mixtape. Okay, like, yeah, okay, it was dope. I, That's what's up, man. He did some man. stuff. He did with Primo. He did some. He got all this other you know stuff. I mean, really great, really great classic Biz Marquee stuff. So uh, shout out to Biz, man. Shout out to Biz. Yeah, man. <laughs> It's been um, so many tributes going out to him. There's uh, these little girls who are DJs, uh, DJs Amira and Kayla. Okay, yeah, they are I so ain't seen dope, them in man. A while. Yeah, they did a tribute to Biz too, man. They That's be what's up. scratching and mixing and all of that, man. They're really good too, man. So I, I always uh, follow them. a little bit too. Probably. A little bit, yeah. yeah. I, they're somewhere between twelve and fifteen. They're oh, they're, really? they're in that age group, yeah, somewhere okay. in that area, twelve to fifteen. That's I want to say, up. but um. But yeah, they're very talented, man. Because they've they've done a lot. They did a, I think they did a DMX tribute too. Okay. Uh, typically, when they hear about stuff like this, they do tributes. But the Biz one was really good. You know what I mean? So, um, definitely shout out to them. I, I tried to reach out to them one time uh, to see if we can uh, interview them. But um, you know, we we we're gonna keep working on that. Oh yeah, no we're gonna doubt. keep working on that. No doubt. But I um, like, uh, yeah, I kept on hearing the uh, dang old. Going through, listen to race racism with uh, Cool G Rap. Yeah, he raised the racism. Yeah, yeah I, just, I just kept playing that. Man, the is black. The, the fate is, is white. white. Together we learn how, how to read and write. <laughs> <laughs> Biz did not care, man. He just yeah, he was like, "This is what you're going to get. This is Biz, man." So I love that about him, man. And uh, y'all go check out, um, you know, Howie's lyrical breakdown on Biz on Alone Again. Man, that was really check good. Out his tribute to Biz on the Lost yeah, I did a Lost in Thought. That was um, it was it was a little long, but I, you know, I was just kind of you know talking and talking, so I can do that sometime. I rant a little bit, but y'all check it out, you know, and uh, definitely drop some feedback. But yeah, I mean, I guess we can go ahead and uh, close it out. You know, uh, we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> So, for Triad Hip Hop Podcast, this is episode 172, and this is your man, Kurt, and this is How, and we're going to see y'all on the next one, all right? Peace. Peace.